A new report is warning Ontario is at risk of energy shortages this summer. That could look like brownouts in some areas. Earlier this month, as temperatures hit 35 degrees in Ottawa, more than 8,000 people lost power. Hydro Ontario said the outage was because of a spike in demand by air conditioner usage, you can imagine. So with a closer look at the report is energy economist Tom Chapman. Welcome to your morning. Good morning, Amory. So Ontario was the only province that was highlighted as a possible energy shortages region by the North American Electric Reliability Corporation. Why is the province facing potential shortfalls? That's correct. Uh, Ontario was highlighted in this report, and um, there is a slightly higher risk uh, than in previous years uh, that we won't be able to have the same reliability, the same supply-demand balance that we uh, have come to expect. Uh, this is primarily because a number of nuclear units, um, some at Darlington and some at Bruce Power, are on outage and being refurbished. And that's great news for Ontario longer term, but it means in 2023 we don't have the same source of nuclear supply that we've become used to. So mm. uh, we do have reduced supply from the nuclear fleet. But on the plus side, we are well connected with our neighbours to Quebec and to Manitoba and to the United States to the south. So I'm confident that if we do need energy and we aren't able to get it from the nuclear fleet, then we should be able to rely upon imports from and other sources. So the report, the report specifically highlights the Windsor-Essex area being vulnerable to these shortages. But what could we see across the province as we head into summer, in particular, because we already know from Environment Canada, this is supposed to be a hotter than ever summer. That's correct. And uh, we certainly need to be aware of those extreme heat waves because that's when the, the grid is at most risk of a reliability event, particularly as you get into day three, four, five of an extended heat wave, the strain on the grid gets progressively worse. Um, so we need to be mindful of our consumption as residents uh, of Ontario. I would say that compared to the past, Ontario's grid is in good shape and that uh, the events that we've seen you know, in Ottawa and other places, um, they, they've localized and due to investments in the grid, they don't create the same cascade type of effects that have impacted reliability in the past. But there could be regions in the province that may endure for a day or two these power outages that can be pretty inconvenient when you, you, know, you need some cool air. Absolutely, um, it, can, it can be very inconvenient. I would say under normal conditions, there is nothing to be worried about. Uh, Ontarians can rely on the Ontario system operator and the generators and Hydro One to supply the power that they need. It's only under extreme weather events that a reliability risk might materialize. Well, we know that there's probably more of those coming. Is there anything residents can do? What would you advise residents in Ontario to do? Try to reduce the strain on the grid. Absolutely. I think residents need to be mindful, particularly under those extreme events. Uh, as I mentioned, during day three, four, five, six of a heat wave, um, if residents can reduce their consumption, uh, moderate the use of air conditioning, uh, not use electric uh, vehicle charging, for example, that will be highly beneficial to the grid and avoid some of the reliability concerns that we don't want to see. Um, so. Under normal conditions, I don't expect there to be any issues and residents can continue to use electricity as they have. It's really under those extreme events that um, it will be highly beneficial if people could uh, be mindful of the electricity consumption and reduce it where they can. Tom, let me ask you quickly before we let you go, given the fact that we know there's going to be more of these increased weather events, like hotter, longer days of these extreme heat conditions, and we do have more people driving things like electric vehicles. These are all things we know that put a strain on the grid. Those things aren't going away. How, what kind of shape are we in in terms of Ontario and our power grid? Are we equipped to handle sort of this new era we're living in? Those are great questions, and you're totally correct. Electricity demand is going to increase in the coming decades as we use electricity to replace some fossil fuels. And uh, the Ontario system operator, the IESO, together with sector uh, companies, are in the process of preparing and planning for that increased demand in the future. Um, we're going to be bringing on more forms of supply, hardening the grid by making investments in network infrastructure. But it is going to be a real challenge, and we have to make sure that uh, we're able to you know, respond to and mitigate the impacts of these uh, severe weather events that we're seeing on a more frequent basis. Tom Chapman, great to have you on the show today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.